Cisco yeah, so Partner Cisco Summit. Partner Summit, uh, typically in Las Vegas, but we're not traveling. Uh, brought together 11,000 uh, certified partners from 152 countries. So Cisco is a very partner-focused uh, country. Uh, sorry, company. <laughs> um, some companies are as big as countries now, so excuse me. But uh, they do 90% of their business uh, through the channel. So this makes uh, perfect sense. So one thing they did is they simplified their partner program. I mean, at Cisco, uh, they partner programs were like kudzu. I mean, they were they were everywhere. But what the company did is it simplified it down to uh, uh, a very focused set uh, from the capabilities of their partners. And just on the bookends, you might have a a reseller that that it's all about inventory right? And not a whole lot of value add. And then on the other side, you'll have an integrator. And if you if you step back and look at uh, how many more businesses Cisco's in, no longer are they just the switch company or the tour company, right? Uh, they're the largest security company on the planet uh, by revenue. Uh, and they are all over uh, as a service and all over um, what I'll call um, monitoring software for multi-cloud. So with that, you, you need to change your partner program that best represent the needs of your customer, your product portfolio, and, and what they did. And the other thing they did is they did bring out uh, some new, talking about vertical here, uh, targeted WebEx solutions to support uh, government. Uh, two uh, in, in particular, one is WebEx legislate. And uh, Cisco uh, doesn't take credit for it. Maybe they're not allowed to, but you know, when you see Parliament uh, in the UK, or if you see, um, gosh, the UN uh, talking, uh, the reason it looks a whole lot like WebEx is because it is WebEx. Uh, what they did is they came out with something called Legislate, which is designed especially for for legislature. Uh, and it, it's a substitute for a person in chamber or on the parliamentary floor. And uh, they've even said it's better than being there. I don't know if that's reality, but, you know, Daniel, uh, when you and I talk over Desk Pro, there is something, I hate to use this word, it sounds so marketing, but, but a little magical uh, about using the two. And it's just better. Uh, they also brought out a product called Connected Justice. And I got the chance to interview uh, one of their customers, a uh, Elkhart, Indiana, uh, County uh, Director of IT, Matthew Deitz. And it was a great conversation. And we talked a little bit about the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, I used to live in Cincinnati uh, back and forth. But he, he told me how essentially uh, they're, um, uh, without even upgrading uh, the backhaul, um, they are using the 9400 series of routers, uh, how they uh, upgraded everything. And they're able to essentially run the courts uh, virtually. And obviously that is uh, important during the uh, time of, of COVID. So uh, I like their move. Uh, vertical is where it's at when it starts to look, uh, you know, if there's a horizontal commodity. And by the way, I don't think, I don't think we're there yet on, uh, on these types of uh, uh, solutions. I just think that, that Cisco is getting uh, a leg up uh, on, on where this is going. And they're strong in these markets anyway, so it just makes sense. Yeah, Cisco's always uh, put on an impressive partner summit. The company has built a massive ecosystem of very successful businesses that have really centered their entire uh, business model around Cisco. Um, yeah. I, you know, they were one of the companies that really early understood both uh, the training model and the partner model. So you remember the Cisco Platinum and Gold and Silver Partners, and then you had the various different certifications. And this really lended its credibility and gave uh, gave these uh, systems integrators and companies a way to build a successful business and practice around Cisco. So good to see that, Pat. The, you did talk about WebEx Legislate, and I'll just make a quick comment. I think that was a really interesting example, going back to what I just talked about with C3.ai and vertical solutions. Um, collaboration is not one size fits all. And as we've seen with companies trying to use products like Zoom for legislation and for councils and congressional. I don't know if anybody saw Argentina when the one guy had his girlfriend on his lap, totally inappropriate, but did not know what he was doing. Um, these people and systems do, you know, 
They are there is user error proneness in all of it. So having the capability to whether it's it's layers of encryption that you may not need for everyday enterprise communication, but you need for um, verticals like financial services or government where data is very sensitive, as we are hearing in the media all day long right now, um, or uh, just being able to you know deliver something that fits certain needs and handles things like roll call, voting, priority. So it was really good stuff, Pat. So that was a great breakdown.